Hi, everybody. We're impromptu live here. I'm Nathan Chen from Proud Fertility. I'm the managing director. Um, the Proud Fertility is a surrogacy and egg donation consultancy in Canada. Today, we are going to interview two proud intended parents who have a baby. So, Hi. how old is your little one? Uh, almost 18 months. 18 months? When was she born? Um, May 31st. May 31st of this year? 2020. Huh? Last year. Yeah, that's the story. <laughs> 18 months. So May 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's so adorable, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's talk to the intended father or intended mother. Um, uh, maybe you can just share anything. Like, what brought you to surrogacy? Oh, actually, um, we love kids so much. Because uh, especially when uh, 10 years ago, we uh, lost a baby when okay. she was uh, seven months old. Wow. And we are so struggle to have another baby. Okay. So we we just have the process of and then, no, 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 go, 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 go. IVF and here. all failed. Okay. So then surrogate, surrogate is our only hope, I think. Okay. So you've had a child before and you've had, you've experienced infant loss. So I'm very sorry to hear that. And so that's a different session. Um, yeah, but now, now you're here yeah. with surrogacy and you've completed your family. So let's fast forward to having your child in May last year. Like, um, intended father, how do you feel towards your surrogate? Uh, we feel grateful, thankful, and uh, our surrogate was a amazing woman uh, with a big heart and who is willing to help us out. And uh, she wants you. <laughs> even the journey was a bit this and that, but at the end of the day, we are having this beautiful this thing. miracle. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> this and that is a very understatement. <laughs> you had a big roller coaster of journey, right? Yes. yes we okay, did. so you're grateful, thankful. Um, you know what? Do you still stay in touch with your surrogate? Of course. Of course. Does she live in the same city as you? Mm. Kind of far away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah kind yeah. of far away. But actually, uh, we have a, and uh, we have a family in the other city. Yeah. So are. she's your family. Yes, yeah. we are. And we have we still keep very good relationship. Um, not only that, uh, throughout, um, after that we are having this baby, uh, when our baby one year old, <laughs> we still remember to send her, uh, send our surrogate, um, a cake just to thank her that, so uh, she's helping us have this beautiful little girl. <laughs> Yeah, actually, we uh, just want not only uh, to uh, thank her, we also want to thank all her family mm -hmm. because we got all her family's come support. Here? Come here? It's so important. Hello. So we feel so blessed. Yeah, okay. So that cake, that was at the most. I, I've, do you want to let her stay or should we just. Yeah, yeah. I think let's pass her back here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was like the most cutest thing I've ever said. It's like, so you sent a cake to your surrogate. So all intended parents out there, when your child is one or two or three, you should be sending <laughs> cakes, and I should be learning that lesson from you. We we plan to send her birthday cake every year. But it was a birthday cake on your daughter's birthday. Like that's the yes. cutest thing. Isn't that the most amazing thing ever? Okay, so the, the next question I really wanted to hit on was. What was the hardest part or biggest challenge of your entire surrogacy journey? Both of you go. <laughs> it would be the uncertainty of both of being patient and waiting. Yeah. And uh, not losing the hope. And um, even we had all the top graded embryos and there was still no guarantee mm -hmm. we failed it the first time you failed yeah yeah unsuccessful embryo transfers on embryo unsuccessful embryo transfer the first time 
and we keep positive and we keep going and uh, the second time we're successful then we have this beautiful p l a c e so i think unsuccessful embryo transfers are very challenging yeah. yes and yeah that, that's a common theme because as you know and for, for our viewers you know even with really good embryos it's really about 50 percent chance of getting pregnant no more And it's just really a numbers game and just finding that will to continue on. Okay. Um, what are, any other things that you wanted to talk about? Like um, anything, like, what did you hold on to to continue? Like these, these were hard moments. Oh, <laughs> I feel uh, during, uh, we, we get not sure if the, the baby is, I mean, um, it's okay uh, when f- five, five months old. Okay. I mean, uh, oh, in the, pregnancy. Yeah, in pregnancy. Okay. So, before, during the five months, I just hold my breath. So you're holding <laughs> your breath, yeah. Yeah, and we, we, can, we, we cannot share with others because we just want to uh, share this news until everything is... Safe, kind of thing. Yes, kind of. So, I think... Be patient is so important, and uh, we just do something else, not to think too much. So distractions! <laughs> yes! <laughs> well, yes. that is actually a really good... So we'll go into our last question. My last question for both of you is, do you have any words of encouragement to other intended parents who are on their journey right now, or soon coming on, or even thinking about your journey? Just overall words from your own journey. What would you say to them? I think you have to trust the process. And um, be patient and um, grateful because, because someone is willing to help us. I think it's, it's not easy. You have the, uh, the needle in the, to the uh, belly so many times. And the bum sometimes. Bum, oh, yes, belly, yes. <laughs> yes. arm. Yeah, and the uh, um, morning sick. It's... It's not easy. And you remember that stuff, too, from your yeah. IVF treatments, yeah, too. Yeah, I know. So the I, hormones. Yeah, so yeah. I, can, I can really understand how she feels. So I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Grateful. So yes. throughout the whole process, always stay positive and uh, keep going on. You have a strong will to have your own baby. Then God... will help you out and eventually you will have a healthy baby because mm-hmm. it wasn't easy for you and you've yeah, and you've done easy. ivf yourself yeah, yeah you know lots of money lots of emotions lots of different people involved yeah and so. you almost lost hope so i i feel we have to keep positive and keep hope and just have um, just think I think be kind or grab or... Be kind, yes. Yeah, the all positive thinking is so important. Mm-hmm. Yes. And they encourage each other. Our surrogate, she encourages us. We encourage her. Mm-hmm. So we, It's a good team. Yeah. Um, I actually wanted to say one thing for our viewers. Um, this is Proud Fertility's sixth year in business. And I've never, ever had the opportunity to ask an intended mother to share... Uh, and it was so, it was such an amazing, long journey for you. Mm-hmm. And we're so glad that you're being able to share with us. So um, it, it's just, without trying to delay this any longer, thank you so much for sharing your words, being um, truthful and honest to everybody. Yeah, we are so grateful too. And uh, thank you, Nancy. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> thank you. Take care. Bye, everybody, for watching. And stay hopeful. Be positive. Yes. Um, if, you know, miracles take time, really. Yeah, so, really. You want to say bye to the video? Bye, Lily. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Anika, kiss bye. Kiss bye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can you say bye-bye? Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, take time.